Extending his dominance in the 2016 race for the White House, Donald Trump claimed victory after victory Tuesday night, racking up wins in states from Massachusetts to Virginia to Alabama. This has been an amazing evening. Senator Ted Cruz won his home state of Texas and neighboring Oklahoma. God bless the Lone Star State. While Florida Senator Marco Rubio picked up a single victory in Minnesota, vowing his fight has only just begun. Five days ago, we began to explain to the American people that Donald Trump is a con artist. And in just five days, we have seen the impact that is having all across the country. At his Texas rally, Cruz called on Rubio and his other GOP rivals to drop out of the race so the anti-Trump voters can unite around him. For the candidates who have not racked up significant delegates, I ask you to prayerfully consider our coming together, uniting. Trump's Super Tuesday scores come amid panic by the Republican establishment that the billionaire businessman may well become the inevitable nominee. Uh, there's enormous opposition to him in the mainstream of the Republican Party, and I would say among the leadership, it's probably 80 percent plus. So you cannot be secure as the nominee when you have so much internal opposition to you in the party. But Trump sought to quell those concerns at a news conference in look, Florida, insisting he's a uniter, not a divider, and is growing the party. Look, I'm a unifier. I know people are going to find that a little bit hard to believe, but believe me, I am a unifier. We are going to be a much bigger party, and you can see that happening. We're going to be a much bigger party. The truth is, this was Donald Trump's night. Uh, Donald Trump has had a series of good nights, and unless somebody else starts having good nights, it's obvious how this is going to end up. All candidates are hoping that good night will happen on the next big round of contests on March 15th, which includes Rubio's home state of Florida and John Kasich's Ohio, both winner-take-all states where Trump currently holds the lead. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.